Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Tech Reviews and Gadgets episode where today we're reviewing some anti-blue light blocking glasses. And you guys are currently watching Career Elite. Today's episode, we're reviewing some anti-blue light blocking glasses from the company Glaymore. And you know, these uh, glasses are really ideal for you to use to, you know, basically filter out all that blue light. And what that can do to you is actually give you headaches, make you feel nauseous, make you feel, you know, you make your eyes basically strain out and basically just not perform properly. But anyways, before we actually get started with this tech reviews and gadgets episode, make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications on to get updates and alerts whenever we do upload. If you guys have any questions or concerns about this product, make sure you guys go down below and leave a comment as I reply and read every single comment I receive. If you guys do enjoy this video after watching it, make sure you guys go down below and leave a like as that just lets me know and informs me if you guys are enjoying these kinds of videos. Um, if you guys want to follow us on our various social media platforms, our social media links and accounts are down below in the description. You guys can follow us to stay connected and also get updates whenever we do upload and then lastly if you're a business owner or a company owner interested in a product review in the future our business inquiries email is careerelyt.com you guys can send me a message and we can potentially work together on a future product review and like always product information and product link is always down below in the description so if you guys are actually interested in buying these anti blue light blocking glasses there'll be some more information and also the link to purchase this product but right now, what we're gonna do is actually move on to the first look and unboxing portion of this video. So, as you guys can see, the front of the box is fairly simple. And as I flip, you know, spin this around, you guys can see there's not really a lot of specifications or details on the outside of the box. So, what we're gonna do now is actually shift this onto a secondary camera angle so you guys can have a closer shot at this product. So, you guys can see on the front of the box, it says Gleamore, which is obviously the company uh, name. On the outside of the box, there's not really any more specifications. So, what we're gonna do now is actually unbox this box. So, all you need to do is lift up this flap, and once you're inside, you guys are gonna see uh, basically like a, a bubble wrap kind of packaging and once you kind of uh, take that out that's basically it for the packaging but let's kind of unwrap this so you guys can see um, we have included a user manual or I should just say like you know just a guide and this little keychain thing is actually a screwdriver kit so you guys can actually unscrew this and actually fix up your glasses if you need to and stuff inside this drawstring bag is where our glasses is actually in so what you need to do is open it up and you guys can see we're actually greeted with another plastic bag and inside this bag is where our glasses are inside you guys can see they really uh, protected these glasses up so like you know when they transport and stuff it doesn't get damaged. I forgot to mention that these glasses have a TR90 frame. It is also is non-polarized so you guys can use this you know um, with many different uses. But this is how the glasses looks like on camera. Um, you guys can see that reflection of my studio lights in them and they do look really clean. In our case I actually have basically the same um, um, glasses but I have like different color options so let me actually bring that out for you guys so you guys can actually take a look at some other color options with these anti blue light glasses so as you guys can see there is various different colors that you guys can actually purchase or actually check out with these glasses so the one that we have in front of this camera is kind of like a brown um, brown kind of design and color option you guys can see how the frames look like um, hopefully my studio lights aren't too bright but this is how these glasses look like um, let's move that off to the side we have like a pink or a rose one you guys can see how the pink one looks like you guys can see the design and the framing is really 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 nice with these glasses and they're pretty durable next up we have matte black as you guys can see this is a matte black um, it's really nice it looks really really modern you know 
and I really like the overall structure of it as well. Next up, we have Clio um, glasses. So the framing on this one is Clio as well as obviously the lens, obviously, because how else are you gonna see? But you guys can see on these glasses, the framing is also Clio with the lens. And then last but not least, we kind of have like a shiny black kind of uh, framing with these glasses. So all these glasses, as I just showed you guys on the secondary camera angle, are all the same glasses. It's just different color options and different models. Not models, but just, yeah, color options that you can get with this model, I should say. So what I'm going to do now is basically move on to the testing and demonstration portion of this video. Alright, so what we're going to do now is just test out these glasses and see if they actually do indeed block out blue light. And then after, I'm going to put this in front of the camera so you guys can maybe see if you can basically see the difference when I put the lens in front of the camera. But let's just put these on and just give them a go. Let's see how I look with them too, actually. So this one's just like the regular black, um, um, not regular black, I should say the shiny black that I showed you guys last, um, glasses. You guys can see it doesn't look too bad. Um, what I'll do is I'll include some shots of me using it and stuff um, so you guys can have a closer shot. But since I'm just testing this out, um, we're just going to test it out here. Let me test out a different one now. You know, we have uh, the clear one right here. Let's see how my, the clear one looks. So this is how the Clio glasses looks like. You guys can see it doesn't look too bad. I like the overall design and shape um, with these glasses. And you know, it does the same thing. I like how they clean, uh, included that cloth for you to clean up smudges if you have any. Um, let's move on to the rose or the pink glasses. You guys can see um, these glasses are fitted for men and women. So anybody can really wear these glasses. This is how the pink one looks like. It also looks really nice and stylish. You know, it looks really modern. That's why I like about these glasses. It makes me look really sophisticated too. Um, let's move on to the matte black glasses. Honestly, I might start wearing these glasses in my videos from now. If I, it makes me look a lot more sophisticated and, and you know, just more professional. So you guys can see, this is how the matte black looks like. It looks really nice. Um, let's move on to like the brown um, and the black mixed glasses. I think this is kind of like hazelnut or like, you know, oak um, kind of framing. Um, hopefully you guys can see this stuff. I might have to zoom in and stuff or show you guys in a close up positioning. But this is how the glasses looks like. Um, I, I honestly would say this was probably one of my favorite color options. Um, I don't know, I'm stuck between, I think my favorite will be the black, the brown, and then maybe the clear one. But I think this one is by far my favorite favorite, but I like the black one. So there is a lot of color options and different models you can get from this company. So, you know, the possibilities or like, you know, your preference or your style that you want are basically endless with this company. Um, so if you guys are interested in buying these glasses, I recommend to do so, especially if you're in front of a screen like me all the time with editing and just, you know, getting everything set up. I do recommend these glasses. In fact, why not keep one of these on until the remainder of the video, you know? Um, but I really think that these glasses do a fantastic job. Like I said, I'll include some shots of, you know, me putting it in front of the camera and then also just showing you guys and demonstrating and also maybe a closer representation of my face so you guys can see how these glasses actually look like. But I think that these glasses do look fantastic. Anyways, let's actually move on to the final reflections and remarks and then end off this video. So, one of my final opinions and remarks about these glasses from the company Glaymore. I think that these glasses are honestly fantastic. You know, when I was testing these out with some blue light and looking at some different screens and stuff, I can tell that there is a difference. When I, you know, even right now, with, you know, the glasses I have on right now, if I take it off, I can realize with like the studio lights, there is a tint of blue that comes out of them. But when I put them on, 
it's just basically pure white light. So these glasses are effective. They do actually perform as the you know specified and actually um, listing themselves as, which is anti blue light glasses. So they do perform properly. I really like all the color options that you can choose from, like you know from the hazelnut to the Clio to the you know matte black to the rose and then also you know the glossy black I really like that they included all those different color options for you to choose from and then they also have some different designs that you guys can get that performs the same way as these glasses so you guys can go to their store and actually check out their glasses out and see if you're interested in purchasing some of them but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech reviews and gadgets episode I know I did making it but before we actually finish off this video make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications on to get updates and alerts whenever we do upload. Have any questions or concerns about any of these glasses? Uh, make sure you guys go down below and leave a comment down below as I reply and read every single comment I receive. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys go down below and leave a like as that just lets me know and informs me if you guys are enjoying these tech reviews and gadgets episodes. If you guys want to follow us on our various social media platforms, our social media accounts and links are down below in the description. You guys can follow us to stay connected and also get updates whenever we do upload and then lastly if you're a business owner or a company owner interested in a product review our business increase email is crew elite you guys can send me a message and we can potentially work together on a future product review but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech reviews and gadgets episode i know i did making it and i'll see you guys all on the next episode crew elite signing out thank you all for watching and have a good rest of your day